in so many ways in our work in past day or so, <coughs> I try to explain physically for the knowledge seekers to understand the difference between the, um, what you call it, a Gans and an atom. An atom is made of a, a plasma of electron. And, oh, did you bring everything up? Yeah. And the plasma of a proton. But, in fact, in totality, each one has its own plasma, has its own Coulomb barrier, has its own atmosphere. But, when they come together, two of them, they make a plasma like this. So, the white one, the big white one, is the plasma of the two, proton and electron together. But, each one has its own plasma. In the matter state, <coughs> we see the two. But, when you make another plasma the same as this, which is next to it, I'll try to come in that you can see the picture. Uh, tell me if you can see everything, please. Rick? If you can uh, pull the camera out just a little bit, we could be able to see everything, or pull those down just a little okay. bit. Okay, is it better now? Yeah, we can. I can see the whole thing. Okay. How's that for your positioning, Rick? Is it okay now you can see the bottom? Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's good, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now on the, on this side, I don't say left or right, I'm going to put a little thing that they don't roll this sit. So, the, the plasma, the big plasma in the back, is the plasma of the, or the Coulomb barrier, as you see it, as we talk at the present, in a matter state. The plasma on this side, which has nothing in front of it, is the Gans of the same. Outside, behavior-wise it's the same, but inside, we don't see the electrons and the protons. Because, as I explained, what has been the dream of the nuclear physicist? A fusion. Because you create the condition, the two electron and proton, their fields come together, and then, as a totality, they create the Gans. Behavior looks like a hydrogen, but you cannot see anything, because this time, you have managed to bring the two fields of two electron and proton together, and then the behavior is as one. And this is where, what's the difference between a Gans and a, and a, and a matter. So, because it has no, uh, feel interaction to lose, it can reach further. In the atomic structure, a proton and electron, to keep the Coulomb barrier as atomic structure, they have always to interact, they are always continuously in motion, they are always continuously losing. And depends where the electron is, you get a different performance. But, in the Gans state, you get a continuous, the same interaction. So, this changes the whole structure. This goes back, in a way, to understanding the production of a neutron dividing into an electron and a proton too. Because a Gans has more plasmatic magnetic field, because it loses less, internally. So, if you can create a condition that it becomes matter, to become electron and a proton, or become Gans of another matter, or transfer from Gans to mass, when it goes this way, it has to release some of its energy, and this is what you collect in your systems, when you make a series of cups and things, and connect it together, and collect gas.